What's up, YouTube? Instant Fame HD here, or Austin. Come at you with my second ever CSGO gameplay on the channel. If you enjoy, comment down in the comment section below and let me know. So just a little bit about this gameplay. It's obviously on CSGO. It is on Dust 2, and I'm, I'm just using random weapons on, on Deathmatch. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. When you see the Neon Rider Mac 11 come up, just know I go on a tear with it. I go on like an eight kill streak. It's pretty cool. So just make sure you stay tuned to the end so you can see that awesome little streak happen. This commentary is going to be based all around the CSGO gambling scene. And I'm pretty sure if you guys play CSGO or even if you don't, you've probably heard about it. But we're going to talk about it and we're going to talk about what happened, why it happened, and if there's any chance of it ever coming back. So basically how it all started, there's been a lawsuit that's happening because underage gambling happens all the time on these websites because you can't really tell the age and you can't really confirm the age because they signed through Steam and you can obviously lie. So a lot of underage gambling has happened. So someone decided to file a lawsuit and that kind of started all this. But then about a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago, <laughs> I'm just playing. But about a week ago, Valve released a statement on Steam talking about and basically to sum it up it talks about how it started in 2011 where you could trade in-game items so you didn't have to open cases to get knives you could trade for the items you want and you weren't getting scammed and just having to buy a bunch of cases and never getting exactly what you wanted and the thing ended by saying that basically they didn't know that gambling would happen and they don't condone it and they don't want it to happen at all which if that's true we don't know but because of this of the lawsuit they obviously had to do this and it had to happen but in this statement I don't know if you guys know how gambling works but in this statement kind of explains it so basically gambling sites use these bots and what they do is they trade your items for nothing into and you with you deposit them into the your into the game and that's through that site you deposit them and that's when you can bet them you can also withdraw them with a bot but that's not really what they're mad about because that's not get betting that's getting your stuff back but I guess that's also what happened but also, what you do, the major part is that you sign in through Steam, and it can see your Steam profile picture, it can see everything through Steam, it can see your what your inventory is, and that's one of the things that they don't like, because Steam lets them sign in. It, even, it says once you sign in that Steam does not support this website and stuff like that. It still does allow those websites, knowing that they're gambling websites, sign in, which is why the gambling websites are starting to shut down now. Just very recently, I'm not sure if it was yesterday or the day before that Valve came out with another statement naming certain websites such as CSGO Wild, CSGO Lotto, the big ones and it's I think it's 25 on the list or 20 or something like that stop their business immediately within I'm pretty sure it was said 10 days and they will or they will take legal action which is that's that's big that they will take legal action just to shut these things down I know Steve, Valve has some pretty big lawyers, but I mean these sites aren't run by small people. They probably have big lawyers too. So if it does happen to go to that, that'll be crazy. When one of the sites shut down, they said they will be back up in 10 days. That's kind of confusing because they said they need to be shut down in 10 days. And they said they did, they are shutting down, but they will be back. So is this the NFC is go gambling? We don't know because if a site's going to come back up, Will it just be for other countries or will it be for America? No one knows right now, but I'm not sure if CSGO gambling will ever be able to come back. And this is because with without the bots trading and not being able to sign through Steam, yes, you could make an account and pretty much use this account and make it through the website instead of through Steam and use it just like you would. But the thing is, oh, here's my Neon Rider where I start, I'm pretty sure. But you wouldn't be able to sign in through Steam and that means they couldn't use your inventory and you'd have to have an account with the website and then without the trading you wouldn't be able to get your in-game items to you so you wouldn't be able to gamble so I'm pretty sure there's no way it could come back which is I don't know why one of the websites came out and said they'll be back up because I don't know if they can really assure that because they don't really know. In the comment section below if you think this is the end of CSGO gambling or if you think there will ever be a comeback of CSGO gambling I'm not really sure so you guys let me know. But one of the big things that I think really helped get, get this into such a big level to where they're shutting those sites down now. I'm not sure if it was really all about just just the lawsuit. I feel like there was a very big part in the T. Martin and Syndicate owning CSGO Lotto. Why do I think this? I think this is because they are such big people on YouTube. They both have millions and millions of subscribers. 
they're both I'm pretty sure have two channels with millions of subscribers they are huge youtubers and they were promoting a site without saying they owned it and that's something you can't do and that's getting people even more underage kids to gamble yes the lawsuit was obviously big it obviously played a huge impact because it's a lawsuit obviously but this team art thing brought so many people into it and so much light onto this site that you can't really get it away and that kind of led to all of this happening and I'm pretty sure that's why it's so big right now this shutdown of the CSGO gambling I think will hurt the CSGO community not that much but it's gonna hurt a lot of channels there's a lot of channels that are only based around just gambling on CSGO and now that they they're not gonna be able to make that they'll still have followers they'll still probably find a way because I mean they're creators they'll figure it out but it's crazy to think that someone could literally lose their job all because of CSGO gambling being done. Also, another thing, the last thing that I have that I'm not 100% positive that will happen, surely, but I'm pretty sure it will a little bit, is the market is at least going to crash a little bit. It's going to suck for those people that spent thousands of dollars on their CSGO inventory and now it's worth $500. I don't think it'll cut too much because they're still trading, but I think it could cut a significant amount to where people will have skins worth thousands only worth 500 but that's gonna end out the video for today guys leave a like if you enjoyed this subscribe if you're new and have a great day peace